Imagine AI. I've been using Imagine AI for quite some time now, and I've been loving it so far. It is a Lightroom classic based software that uses AI to learn your style or other preset styles to edit a batch of photos. So where it might take you days to edit a wedding, you can now edit it in just a few minutes, depending on the number of photos you have. Let me tell y'all something. I believe in working smarter, not harder. If I can get back some time to work on other things in my business and not focus strictly on spending hours and hours and hours of editing, I will do that 10 times out of 10. Shout out to Imagine AI over time as it continues to update and they continue to add new features. I am thoroughly impressed. I just want to give you guys an overview of Imagine AI, how it works and how it can streamline your editing process. It's pretty simple. You'll take your photos from Lightroom, export it as a catalog, and insert it right into Imagine AI and let it do its thing. Now, if you don't know how to export a catalog from Lightroom Classic, there's several tutorials online. I may do it in another video, but just for the sake of showing y'all Imagine AI, I went ahead and did all that already. All right, so here's the Imagine AI home screen. You can select the range of different talent AI profiles. A lot of people recommend that you start off with those profiles and test it out on a few photos just so you can kind of get the hang of it. And then from there, you can start loading up larger batches of photos and things like that. I've created two profiles over time, but most of the time I still use my V1 profile and you're able to fine tune your profile. So over time, you can really train Imagine AI to really learn your editing style and make your editing process even quicker and quicker. They have several tours and tutorial videos that you can check out on their website and the software. I found that their support is very helpful. So if you ever have any questions, things like that, you good to go. All right. So when I go here to projects, as you can see, I have my projects listed here and I'm going to go ahead and create new project. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and click edit and select weddings in this situation. Now from here, you can just drag and drop your Lightroom catalog. So just drag it onto there. And from here, you'll be able to name your project. And I'm going to choose my V1 profile, which is pretty much my go to tones. If you guys have purchased my presets, link in the description below. I've tried my best to fine tune my AI profile to match those tones so that when it's running through and editing, it can get as close as possible. So it'll be able to tell you which photos you've edited and which photos you haven't yet. I worked on some sneak peeks for the client, which included several different highlights of the wedding day. I always like to give a lot of sneak peeks to my clients. So that's why it's populating these two folders. I'm going to go ahead and select the first folder, the ones that I haven't touched yet. And from here, I always like to select straighten and that is pretty much it for me and then from there i'm just going to select upload so now all the photos are uploaded and complete now as you can see here it has this cool little progress bar where it's in the editing stages now we're just gonna have to wait a few minutes i think last time i saw and read somewhere it takes about point 33 seconds or something like that to edit the photos so if it can edit a thousand photos in 10 minutes i mean all right so waiting for this thing to finish editing How y'all day going so far? I'm gonna get some water. All right, so the edits are done. I probably should have timed it, but I don't think that was any more than 10 minutes, honestly. That was probably about eight or nine minutes, 10 minutes tops. So that's dope. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and head over to download to review. You click here and download edits. So your catalog that didn't have any edits is now gonna overwrite that catalog that you exported. So just something to keep in mind. Now, download is pretty quick. And then from there, you can open the catalog. And from there, we got Lightroom Classic back open. And just right off the bat, looking at what it's done, not bad. All right. And what I like to do is just kind of go through some of the photos and just see how they look. I've been using Imagine AI for quite some time now, so I've been over time fine tuning it. And as it continues to upload your catalogs, it'll actually learn your style. So that's really dope. Now, this right here, just looking at some of the getting ready photos, the lighting was a little tough in that room. So I love the way it adjusted the temperatures for me. This is exactly what I probably would have done. And once I see how it edits the photo in a particular scene, I don't feel like I need to go through every single photo because the lighting was pretty much the same during this part of the wedding.
Just kind of skimming through them, y'all. I think the last wedding I edited with Imagine AI, it took me about no more than 30, 35 minutes. That's obviously not including culling. And the main question I asked myself, is this how I would have edited that photo in that situation? tweak the photo yet the only thing i really adjusted so far was like the blacks a little bit of exposure but other than that look at that this is exactly how i would have done this and i'm not kidding this is probably one of the best i've seen it do so far and of course it happens when i record this video and not saying it's been bad in the past but i definitely had to like go in and kind of make some adjustments things like that but what i'm seeing so far is like just kind of looking at the before and afters I think I think it's yeah. The AI is AIing right now, okay? All right, y'all, we're at the finish line. About a hundred photos left. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm not even saying that just because this is for Imagine AI or for the sake of it being on YouTube. This is probably the best and my favorite catalog to date in terms of Imagine AI edited catalog and it taking me 30 or so minutes to go through all this. It's wild. That's it, guys. I'm at the end. I may go back and look at a few and see if maybe some of them needed a few tweaking. But shout out to Imagine AI for what I think is an amazing product. This software is not in its beta stages, so they are full blown up and running. They have features that are in beta stages like it's culling and things like that. Now, I have a link in the description below. If you click on that link and sign up for Imagine AI, you get 1500 free edits. 1500, y'all. Now from there, when you export your photos, you can actually go back to Imagine AI and click on this option called Upload Final Edits. Now you gotta make sure that Lightroom is closed and things like that so we can upload it. And then from there, it will actually re-upload your adjusted catalog so it's able to learn you even more and see what adjustments you made to the catalog after Imagine AI edited it and require you to do less adjustments in the future. So yeah, y'all be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you guys feel about Imagine AI. Let's talk about it in the comments. Let's talk about the future of AI in general. And I look forward to just seeing how it continues to get better and better and help make our lives just a little bit easier. So as always, y'all, Let's keep going.